charity work and designer clothes. Greetings and welcome back to GTA San Andreas. We are here in front of the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. So let's actually finally go ahead and go in, shall we? Let's do it! I don't think so. So we obviously have the next story mission there in the Mortal Kombat icon, but um... I mean, that is just the MK icon, right there. Yeah, no, totally. But of course, before we get to that, there's some stuff we can do here at the casino. I mean, it would be a pretty lousy casino if it wouldn't let us gamble, so let's give it a shot. No win! Yay! All of those horseshoes were for nothing. <laughs> Again, those actually are for nothing. They don't, they don't like affect your gambling skill or your luck at the gambling tables or at the slots in any way, shape, or form. Oh yeah, let's just mess around with these various games for a bit here. Nothing too exciting, but might as well show it off, I guess. There we go. I had to cut down to only three mysteries. Red, 18. Damn it! Loser! Rude! <laughs> Thank you for playing, sir! Okay, well, eventually we're gonna win something. What are these machines over there? Uh, which machines? The ones, like, behind the camera now. I think those are video poker. Ah. I didn't show those off because I just couldn't be bothered. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's video poker, you get the idea. Yeah. 17. I was about to comment on how wide these cards are, but these are probably uh, assets scaled from 4-3 to... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, the that's scale stretched. All, the, all the hot elements, so... Yeah, that, that, that checks out. Seven or seventeen. Okay, okay, feeling good. You win, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a winner. Please place your bet. Okay, let's just. Oh, I did try video poker. Okay, well, never mind. It's been a while since I recorded this, so I <laughs> didn't quite I remember that. exactly what I actually did here with this. Various gambling tables and machines, but yeah, this is video poker. Ooh, that's not a bad hand. No, it's not. That's actually pretty good. We're gonna hold those. Yeah! You're a winner! I sure am. Yup, it's poker. It certainly is. Honestly, I had no idea how to play poker until I played Red Dead. <laughs> and I actually spent some time at the poker table in that game. There are so many different variations of poker, too. Yeah, I think that is Texas Hold'em. In Red Dead or this? In Red Dead. Okay, because I was going to say, video poker... That, that video poker was definitely not Texas Hold'em. No, no, it was not. <laughs> Idiot! Do you realize how much those machines cost? We're supposed to be opening it. What the fuck was that? Hello? Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Boss, CJ's here. Carl, glad you can make it. So, that's what you've been doing? Yeah, it's been a complete nightmare. You want a stomach ulcer? Try opening a triad casino in a mafia-run town. The mob trying to squeeze you? Yeah, the corporations are moving in and everybody's feeling the squeeze. I've had slot machines busted up, workmen being scared off. So who behind this? Huh? Well, there are these three mob families operating here and each of them has a stake in Caligula's casino. And some whacked out lawyers running it for them. It could be any one of them, or all of them. Can't you just give them a little something? No. In addition to the usual authorities that need bribing, each one would want a slice. And I'm not about to hand over all our profits to some wise guy Italians. Our profit? 
That's right, you heard me. I want to offer you a share in our casino. In exchange for some help setting it up. How's that sound, partner? Sound like we got a deal then. Boss! The boys found some thugs trying to smash one of the deliveries. We caught one of them. Get rid of him. Hey, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Come here. Whoever's behind this, we need to let them know that they're dealing with full-fledged psychos. <laughs> Time to the front of the car, then you sweat it out a little, and I'll be out there in a little while. Let's see if we can make this guy squeal. That's my car. Hey, hey, who the fuck? Who are you? One time, huh? That's certainly a way to tie a dude to the front of a car. You know what? I think we're gonna take a little drive. What are you fucking stupid? I'm not joking here. Untie me, motherfucker. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave you right where you are. I ain't no you got any idea that he brain head of yours? Who the fuck I am? Nah, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna find out. Now on PC, if you have the frame rate limiter disabled, that cutscene where you drive out of the garage will just kinda screw up and you just hit the the garage door and can't progress. <laughs> so that's good. You are messing with the wrong people! You know, now that now that CJ's gotten his uh this pretty sweet like partnership with Woozy over the casino, I can't help but feel like him getting exiled from Grove Street was probably one of the best things to happen to CJ. Yeah, you could you could argue that. Like he's, he's just gone made on, something. Yeah. He's gone on to way bigger and better things than uh like just surviving on Grove Street. Yeah, he's definitely made it. But yeah, back to the matter at hand, I guess. We are supposed to scare the crap out of this poor fool. Hey, what, what you doing? So we just drive as recklessly as possible. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna skip ahead in a moment. Oh, Mother Mary, you bad enough, oh God. Ooh, we'll unsettle him. Ah, oh, man, thanks for that. All right. All right, you made your point. Please, no more, no more. What's going on? All right. Anything else you want? You're bad enough. Oh God. Ooh. That meter is full, so he should be done by now. But. Oh my God! I just shit myself. Well, thanks for telling us. <laughs> but that's not what we need. We need your name. Oh my God. God. Oh, were you supposed to just stop? Uh, no, no. So yeah, this was weird, so I just skipped ahead again. And that meter just wasn't going anywhere, so I thought... I thought it wasn't working. Okay, there we go. Which fam? The Zendaco family, you idiot! That's all I wanted to hear. What? Oh, shit! You done fucked up, buddy. I'm not sure why that took so long, but at least we got there eventually, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. Just get this idiot back to the casino then, and then figure out our next move, I guess. Probably clean up all the shit off the car? Might be a good idea, yeah. Just gotta make sure not to hit too many things here, although... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Presumably we are not supposed to kill him even after we get the information we need, but... Yeah, probably want to be a little bit careful still, while coming back here.
Well, that was fun. Let's see what we got next. All right, Woozy, give us some good. He's gonna give us something, all right. I don't know how good it is, but... But we'll see. I thought we already did the explosive situation yet, uh, last time. <laughs> the glorious sound of a hole in one. Great shot, boss. Thanks. Not bad, Woozy. So, the Sindaco family was behind the attempts to sabotage our venture. I wonder why it's only them and not the others. Probably ain't just them. Rule of the streets, don't snitch. What we need is to hit the Mafia Casino. Yeah, go jack the place. Hey, hitting a casino isn't like gangbanging. It's a whole different league. Yeah, you right. It'll take some planning, but I'm down. She always wanted to pull a heist. What the? Ah, bad luck. Listen, you're gonna need a crew and some special equipment. Yeah, it'll take some explosives. Always gotta blow up shit to pull a heist. You know what? There's an open cast mine southwest of the city limits. They must have explosives. I'll go peep it out. Right, so this mission unlocks the heist mission, mission chain, which is, that is optional. Of course, we'll be doing it because, well, this is a 100% LP and all that. Plus, of course, it's a casino heist, so of course we want to do this. Right. So basically, we're, 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 basically we're playing Payday now, right? Uh, kinda, yeah. But this is a story mission. All the rest of the heist stuff is gonna be optional. So let's just head on over to the the mine and try not to get killed by this traffic. Driving against it is not, it's not probably not gonna help. I think you got this. Just trying to find a place to turn, which is a little bit difficult. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, Jesus, what's going on there? Well, I can safely say you had nothing to do with that. For once, I had absolutely zero to do with any of that. That was entirely their own idiocy. But yeah, the AI on these roads, it just doesn't have any idea what to do. It just keeps crashing into... They just keep crashing into each other pretty much at all times. And apparently they have rigged the dynamite to blow which is not optimal, so we need to figure something out. And we have two and a half minutes until detonation. Oh boy. We could go down there and just steal the dynamite real fast. Or... We could shoot that guy and get rid of the timer. Huh. I think he was like the boss man who was in charge of the, in charge of the whole thing. So, once we took him out... Well, no more impending detonation, I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure how that works, but but I'll take it. Well, clearly it's because that you've killed the boss man, so you're now you're the boss man. So you call the shots on when the dynamite blows. Yeah, but if it was already rigged to blow in two and a half minutes, I'm not sure how killing the guy who rigged it to blow in two and a half minutes is going to stop it from blowing up in maybe, two and a half minutes. Maybe it wasn't an automatic detonation, like it's still manual, he just set an alarm for himself to let it go in two and a half minutes. Something like that, I suppose. <laughs> oh, also, this... um, Yep. I was gonna say, this is the heavy thing we're gonna use to break those crates, isn't it? It sure is. Also, driving the, dr the, the um, dump truck is quite annoying because the right stick controls, like, the bed of it, moves it up and down, so, um, you can't really, well, you can use the left stick to turn the camera, 
That actually applies to all vehicles, well all cars, n not motorcycles, because those you still on those the left stick just 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 like wheelies and stuff. Right. But yeah, in cars you can also move the camera with the left stick. At least up and down. So let's see here. We gotta gotta take this this dynamite here. We have caused enough mayhem and cracked open all the crates, so now the workers here seem to be slightly annoyed at us. <laughs> for whatever reason. That guy didn't want any of it. Oh no, security's here. Oh no, whatever will we do? It kind of sucks that you have to get out of the vehicle to pick up these sticks of dynamite, but it is what it uh, is. Ah, yeah. Ah, well, we got him. Yeah, back into the dump truck. Actually, we're not supposed to get back into the dump truck because that is not what we will be using to get out of the quarry here. Because we have to use this dirt bike to pull off some sick jumps and stuff, so... Let's go ahead and do some of that stuff. Yeah, the game is showing us the path we are supposed to take. Yeah, go ahead. Are you trying to tell me you're not going to attempt this with the dump truck? Uh, no, this time I'm not attempting this in the dump <laughs> truck, especially since the game has the blue arrow of doom, which denotes a vehicle we are supposed to use in this mission, which is mandatory <laughs> to use in this mission, so... Before we get on that, the game is not going to let us do anything. Now, I don't actually know if if we still had, like, the explosives timer, if we hadn't stopped it. I don't know if it would be still going at this point. That's a good question. I would assume it's not, but um, I don't know. I also assume so, but I don't know. I would hope not. I tried to look at some videos, but all of them just killed the the boss, so they didn't really provide any new information. I I like that that guy's pool of blood was just kind of uh spill you know forming on the slatted stairs there. Yeah, that's that's just how it works. That's just basic physics. <laughs> just some instant coagulation right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, these guys are taking some... Oh, oh, great, good job. Some pretty heavy drugs that do very weird things to their bodies, so... This is Las Venturas. They've got some shit available here. Yeah, I think you just gave that, that dude a mercy ra more than anything. Yeah, probably. Also, here I thought somebody was shooting at me from behind, but it turns out they were actually up there, so... So let's just... Get a bit of a run up here so we can make the next jump. Because that's not gonna be enough run up at all. <laughs> Let's see if this works any better. Hey CJ, hit that big ass ramp. Big ass ramp has been hit. Hell yeah! Okay, we have more idiots up ahead. Good job, guys. Well, no one's dead. Uh, well, no. I guess that is good for them. So, let us drop off this dynamite. I would assume that it is actually not rigged to blow even if we hadn't killed the boss, because if it was still rigged, this guy would have a problem in his hands. Yep. Delivery for wounded. Hey, you be careful with that. You be careful with those guns, CJ. Yeah, please stop waving those around with your fingers in the, uh, the triggers. And with that, we also unlock the quarry submissions, or the side missions, which we'll be doing next time. There's gonna be some fun slash interesting stuff. I'm really curious what they have to offer in the quarry. <laughs> There's gonna be plenty of excitement. Hit me. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. 
I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Okay, we are going to disturb the counterfeiting operation here. But first we need to find a vehicle which seems to be slightly problematic at this point. But eventually we find one. Now if you're gonna make counterfeit anything, generally speaking you'd probably want to make them look as much like the genuine article as possible, instead of going for some kind of weak own on whoever um, on like Woozy here. Yeah. But what do I know? I am not a mobster. I mean, I get the idea if they're trying to like taunt him or whatever, but like... Uh, sometimes I feel like you want to just stay under the radar, you know? But again, I'm also not a mobster. Okay, so here we have two options. We can go in guns blazing, or we can just kind of go in a little bit less guns blazing, although that will still count as stealth. How the fuck? And there's actually two guys in that car, and they will notice us if we try to enter the the warehouse. But of course it doesn't matter because they're gonna notice us anyway. We'll just walk right in. Hey, who's this prick? Somebody take care of this joker. So yeah, you have a fight in your hands anyway at this point. Welp, so much for stealth. Here's a different take. So check this out, I was gonna be clever and blow this car up with the minigun. Welp. Yes, the man holding a minigun looks like a cop. Well, I'm more annoyed by the fact that it just took me into the cutscene while I was shooting the car. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but... <laughs> So anyway, let's get back to it. We do still have our minigun. Man, that is some weak-ass minigun sound effects. Yeah, these sound effects are not great, but this thing does obscene amounts of damage to everything. It just doesn't feel like it does. Yeah, I just want to be really careful here because these guys, these guys can, they can really do a number on you. There's going to be a bunch of them hiding behind the crates and all that with really powerful guns, so... And there will be more showing up once we destroy enough of these machines. So... Caution is recommended. Yeah, none of these guys was a problem at all, but... The game is going to spawn in some more guys once we blow up. I think three machines. Just seeing if there's anything else up here. So let us get to work. Don't want to waste the minigun shots, so I'll just use the the M4. That's that's reasonable, I think. Can, can you shoot through the grate? No, apparently I cannot. That's unfortunate. Oh, we seem to have some friends. Well, had. I mean, they're still here. They're dead, but they're still here. Oh, 
Okay, anyone else wanna join in? So here's another take. This is what happens if you try to just run in. Okay, that wasn't optimal, but... Well, that definitely wasn't optimal. <laughs> but I figured I could still, still kind of salvage this. Then, the guy with the combat shotgun. Damn! And even if you have like full health and full armor, that guy can still kill you in like 3 seconds. Yeah, that, that, that checks out. Like, that that's kind of how I feel with the, uh, the shotguns in, uh, Resident Evil Village. Okay, and I think we have some fellas outside. So, let's just wait for them to to come in. Hello there, sir. My lock on isn't... Um, hit boxes. <laughs> yeah, I think you were hitting those boxes there. You wanna get shut up, huh? I think I was hitting the air between the boxes and the... <laughs> and the guy there, but never mind. That is how hit detection works. I actually got the gas tank without really even going for it, so I was kinda... kinda part of that. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's just blow this up with the minigun. And get the hell out. There's the last one. There is another guy with a combat shotgun right outside. We can see him up on the... the boxes there. So let's take him out. And now he's gone. Yeah, but not before, just completely shredding my armor. Actually, I wasn't quite paying attention to see how much armor I had at that point, but I'm pretty sure I still had quite a bit left, but never mind. We have gotten out safely, and we have a nice admiral here waiting for us, so let's just... Oh, hello there, officer. <laughs> Nothing going on here. Just facing through the door, no biggie. That's just what the cops can do here. So now we just bring this back to, to Woozy and I'll do it. I'm not sure why I walked. Hey Carl, how'd it go? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Alright, so we have the highest mission mission chain available to us, and we have some more missions for Woozy as well. But next time we'll be heading to the quarry. That's gonna be fun. Alright.